Okay, looked up the Five of Cups uh, on uh, online on my laptop, and you know, it seems to be about gr grief and loss. Um, I didn't do it as a specific question. Um, you know, the person that uh, did the professional reading for me a couple of years ago um, said, if, you know, it's different if you do a, uh, um, a money question or, a, you know, love question or whatever. And I think that time I did it as a general, you know, what, uh, how will 2020 play out for me? And it turned out that this was just before the pandemic uh, began. So it was February, January of that year. So 2020 worked out no differently for myself and the whole world. But anyway, um, the uh, I didn't. I just did this as a random, you know, selection card. I didn't ask a question, but uh, uh, and it seems to deal with the uh, you know um, you know loss of money stuff like that. I'll just read the um, Wikipedia version. Uh, divination use. Um, card often uh, carries the meaning of emotional dejection. Not true. Disappointment, sorrow over past events. Yes, binges and other stuff too, I guess. There may be a tendency to cry over spilt milk. It can be a failure to see the good in a given situation. And I've been trying to see that and, you know, and focus on the positive. Basically, my kids and my friends, you know. And, you know, uh, and, and the fact that I am, you know, I'm getting podcasts out of this. I'm trying to write. I'm trying to confront shadow. There's, uh, stuff is coming up. And uh, although the figure represented on the card has lost three of his cups, two, uh, you can see that in that one too, uh, uh, two still stand, yet he feels, fails to appreciate what he has left. A river flows in front of the figure with a bridge leading to a safe destination. And yet he remains focused on the loss of his cups. You know, that's pretty powerful. And yeah, again, the stuff with this is you can read in whatever you... And I, I am, of course, reading in stuff from my own, uh, you know, from my own perspective. And yes, it's that whole confirmation bias and stuff that we had discussed before. But it still kind of works, you know. And I have been in this sort of a dark place. And, and meeting the young man yesterday and, you know, uh, some of, of a lot of what Come, came up with this card and a lot of things because uh, money was an issue and it came up and we discussed it and he didn't get my view of it and I get his because it's a pretty straightforward it's a pretty traditional view but it's you know so um, but uh, yeah money and all of that stuff and you know uh, and yeah I have lost quite a bit of money you know uh, the binges and the you know the gambling I was gambling just uh, hundreds of dollars you know so um Anyway, food for thought, you know. Now, while I'm doing this, um, I haven't yet heard from my um, uh, my other friend, the the uh, the person who really hates uh, Peterson. But I've uh, been having some thoughts about that whole thing, you know. Uh, Peterson's approach to shadow in my own and all of that stuff, and you know, and my podcast versus hit podcast and the and I, you know. I don't want to make sound like I'm complaining about the, you know, he's got 5.4 or 5.7. When you're over 5 million, whether it's 5.3 million or 5.7 million subscribers doesn't make a huge difference, especially when you're at 47, just straight 47. And that too, because my uh, my uh, friend's son subscribed. Even though he said he doesn't really want to, see, he's not interested in my um, podcast. And, you know, I, uh, I, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's, 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 it's a different kind of, uh, for, the stuff that he's interested in, I have zero interest in. He went on and on about this uh, podcast. Again, millions of viewers, um, Logan Paul and somebody Paul, uh, you know, they're brothers and they're very famous and they're, they're supposed to be like boxers or something, but it, it sounds like they're famous just for being assholes, as far as I gathered from what he told me. And he just went on and on and he, he admires them and they're, you know, and he, they get millions of views and they kind of sound like fairly worthless people and, you know, sound like famous for the sake of being famous, like the um, Kardashians and, you know, maybe not <laughs> some overlap with, with the other figure that we mentioned, you know. 
the one my friend dislikes so much, you know, but, but he's got a veneer of intellectuality, you know, so he's supposed to, I mean, he was a cypher, supposedly supposed to be an intellectual, but you know, is, is um, so, um, but anyway, my, my friend's son was going on about these people and explaining them, and I looked them up afterwards, and I'm like, you know, he has no interest in my podcast, I have no interest in the stuff that he's talking about, this is so passionate about these people, and he goes, oh, they're entertaining, and I go, I think well, I think my kids and myself and me. My, I think I'm more entertaining than some boxer who goes right into a, 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 a forest of suicides and and film somebody hanging. You know, I don't know. That's like what the fuck. You know, I don't know. I'm uh, all of this just makes me, uh, you know, a little bit. More, it's like oh, I I want. To, but but what is all this? I mean, you know, it's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm I'm not unhappy with my 46 now 47 viewers, and I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm, it's okay. I do these for myself, and I enjoy them, and and uh, you know, I, uh, well, I sort of enjoy them. I do, I do, you know. And it's it's my journey, and I'm recording it for for good and bad. Uh, you know, the darker parts of the journey I can't show, for you know personal privacy reasons and because other people are involved. So I, I try to write about that uh, for myself. Uh, and I try to be very anonymous, again, with my friend and her son. I'm, I, I, you know, I'm not even mentioning locations or anything like that. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, I try to be as uh, discreet and as respectful as possible. And I try to focus on my aspect of it, you know, how I felt with what this person was saying. And as I said, he meant well, and it's just what is different wavelengths, different, you know. Yeah, I don't expect him to find my podcast interesting. His mother has watched each and every single podcast I've ever done. That's 166. This will be 167. She's watched each and every single podcast. So I think that more than compensates for the son who doesn't, is not in the least interested, you know, whereas he's fascinated by you know, imbecilic boxers, you know, you know uh, who have billions of views. You know, I have 47, you know, which is okay. I mean, you know, I'm not complaining. It's, it's just like I'm looking at it and I'm like, how does this make sense, you know? But, uh, but then my, uh, my, my, uh, my, my other friend who I haven't heard back from, I mean, you know, she, she did say, you know, she would, you know, it was a very nice comment. She said, I'd rather have, you know, 20 uh, followers in not do harm to people, you know. Whereas, and then again, the the the, the, the shit that that uh, young man was describing of these uh, boxing, boxing, you know, uh, people, you know, they, it sounds like they harm people, or they're not very ethical, and they, you know, it doesn't, you know, they reveal stuff in their podcast. I, I try not to reveal the. The, the the nastier stuff in my podcasts, you know. And again, I try not to. Even on my binges, even when I'm a dusty lobster rodent weasel, I try not to harm anyone, except maybe myself. You know, that's you know, that's that's different. You know, it's a whole different thing. You know. So I don't know. But my 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 friend also, she said something very very you know, uh, important, and she actually said that. Um, you know who I, I'm talking about him, Peterson. I mean, the, uh, he's a public figure, so that's okay. You know, and he's got 5.7 million views, and people have said much nastier things to him. But um, you know, she said that he has power and he has voice, and he doesn't use this. Uh, he doesn't use this to make the world a better place. He uses it to criticize and, you know, and hurt people and often vulnerable people, vulnerable populations. And and I, I completely agree with that. You know, I, I don't have the power and I don't have the voice. I have my 20, I have my 20, <laughs> 20 followers, my 47 subscribers, you know. So I'm doing this in a vacuum, basically, for the small number of people. But it's okay. I'm, I'm I'm sharing my journey and, you know, and uh, the ups and downs and the, you know, and the, the mystical parts. And I even share my dreams occasionally, you know, and and I share my, you know, the kids and my my struggles to return. And sometimes, and that's kind of what I'm going through now, sometimes I, with all the stuff that I see and all the, and the, and the encounters that I have, is it worth it? Is it worth the battle? Is it worth it? That's what I'm going into now. Is it, uh, you know, do, is it worth putting this effort into returning to this 
ordinary world when the ordinary world is full of people like Peterson and, you know, boxing famous brothers who go into suicide forests and make fun of corpses? Is that, you know, is that, you know, is that, is that worth the effort? Yeah, I guess the answer is yes, because, you know, I got my kids! You know, the answer is a yes, it's worth returning. My kids and my very few friends. You know, my very, very, very few friends, you know, and, you know, and, the, you know, hope doesn't extend to their families, unfortunately, but, you know, <laughs> but it is, but my very few friends who are, you know, and that's about it, you know, that's, uh, it's worth returning for that, you know. And if any of my podcasts uh, help anyone, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm back to existentialism, you know, uh, L'Etranger, you know, Albert Camus, you know, like, <laughs> in a completely different way than, different angle than I saw that work or, you know, from when, when I read it 30, 40 years ago as a young person. But anyway, uh, you know what? Uh, I don't know if I'm even going to post this. I don't want to upset my friend. And I've tried to be objective, and and I, you know, it was nice seeing your son. And I understand that, you know, he's he's we're on different journeys, and you know, just didn't, you know, it just didn't, you know. I was kind of hoping we might be able to help each other, and you know, and uh, and you know, have have a good time together. But it didn't work. You know, we're just different wavelengths different you know so that's you know as i said it's kind of the whole thing is kind of putting me off young people you know like you know you know the whole thing with the relatives too i haven't heard from them that's okay we 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 went for four years without speaking and you know they're very busy they're very caught up in their own stuff and i understand i i'm going you know i mean and when i really really need them that's the thing about my relatives when i really really need them after my father's accident and then after one of the binges where I was really freaked out. When I really need them and they ask, and I ask, they're there, you know? So that's all you can ask for, you know? And, uh, and in the meanwhile, I mean, you know, they don't... I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to even stop bothering sending them podcasts. They don't acknowledge them or anything. They're just too busy, so, you know? Yeah, even my own relatives don't watch my podcast. No wonder I have 20 viewers. <laughs> even my own relatives don't have time, so I don't know... You know, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop doing podcasts. I'm not going to stop fighting, you know. Uh, uh, there, are, There's the kids, and there's my very few friends. I can count them on the fingers of one hand easily. I might have a finger left over, too, you know. So anyway, there we go. <laughs> uh, is that an optimistic note to end on? You know, you know I'll tell you what an optimistic note is. And that card! That card was really something, you know? So we got, uh, we got one baby there. We got one baby there. We got a geezer there. And so, and tomorrow I'm making a day trip. And I leave the babies in the room. Got to go meet my contractor. Cut the grass. Switch cars. And, you know, I guess uh, yeah, I do enjoy driving. Even the cars. I mean, you know, they're... they're uh, I don't know. They don't. They don't really bring me pleasure as such anymore. They're just ah, they're 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 catnip toys. But I kind of kind of get bored with them. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, the driving will be good. You know, driving usually grounds me. Usually, ah, oh, wish me luck. You know, <laughs> one day at a time. You know, you get your uh, you get your you know, what is it? Um, uh, Merceau? You know, I don't care. Yeah, you know, you didn't suffer a good fate, you know? You know, I'm, I'm not that kind of existentialist, you know? Anyway, you know, um, uh, from the four of us, bye for now, you know? We'll keep you posted, you know? You know? Uh, I'm going to edit and post. Do I edit this? Do I post this or not? Post? I'm going to post it! The heck with this. At this point, I'm going, you know, what, what do I care? I'm just going to post. Okay, bye for now.